we saw that ethane's formula was C2H6. Methane's formula was CH4. Propane's formula was C3H8. If I ask you that what will be the formula of C127 something, this compound also exists, you know. That's due to the property of catenation. It can form 100, 200, 1000 membered chains. What will be the number of H atoms? So, you cannot calculate this unless you draw the structure of 127 carbon atoms and drawing 127 carbon atoms is a very tedious job and again drawing hydrogen atoms over them. So, this will require a lot of time and energy. We have a simple formula that in case of alkanes, if the number of carbon atoms is n, then the number of hydrogen atoms in that compound will be 2n plus 2. You see, C, if N is 1 over here, then H will be 2 into 1 plus 2, which is 4, and which gives CH4, that's methane. If N is 2 over here, then hydrogen atoms will be 2 into 2, 4, plus 2, 6. So, it gives C2H6 which is ethane. If this is 3, then it gives 2 into 3, 6 plus 2, 8, C3H8. Propane. So now we can easily find what C127 will be. If it's C127 and it's an alkane, so it the number of hydrogen atoms in that compound will be n is 127 over here so h will be 2 into n plus 2 that is 2 into 127 plus 2 which is 7 to the 14 5 254 plus 2 which is 256 so this will be c127 h 256 Now, we have seen, okay, let's do one more example. If it's C37, what will be the number of H atoms? So, it's N is 37, so the number of hydrogen atoms will be 2 into 37 plus 2, which is 74 plus 2, that is 76. This might be asked. So very important, these are very important questions. If the carbon atoms of this alkane are these many in number, then what are the number of hydrogen atoms? So, we know now that the alkanes have a formula, general formula. This is called the general formula of alkanes which is Cn H 2n plus 2. Now, if there is a general formula for alkanes, there should be a general formula for alkenes as well. Now, without directly giving this formula, I would like like you to understand one thing. Now we have seen that if this is an alkane, then 
which is if you see it's three carbon atoms with only single bonds so it's alkane so ane and three so prop so this is propane and the the formula is c 3 h 8 now if you want to change this to propene what will you do you will remove these two hydrogens that is if you see it electronically or the from the electron point of view there are shared at shared electrons let me draw it a bit bigger there are shared electrons over here shared electrons over here so when this bond breaks one electron goes with hydrogen one electron remains with the carbon atoms so the carbon atoms have th these two carbon atoms have one electron each after the removal of the two hydrogens so these two electrons will form a bond and which will give rise to a double bond and hence this propane will be converted to propene and the formula of c3h8 of propane now what we have done is that we have removed two hydrogens from the compound everything else remains the same everything else is unaltered so the formula will become automatically c the number of carbon atoms are constant and hydrogen atoms have decreased by 2 so the formula for propene will become c3h6 so basically what we are doing is that we are removing hydrogens two hydrogens to make one double bond so if an alkene contains 2n plus 2 hydrogen then removing two hydrogen will give us two n hydrogens and the number of carbon will remain same so from the general formula of alkanes which is cnh2n+2 we remove two hydrogens and make one double bond and so it becomes an alkene but removing two hydrogens will lead to a change in the general formula which is cnh2n+2 so removing two hydrogens will make this 2n+2 2n so the general formula for alkenes will become cnh2n